Apologies to the viewers who saw Keys and I butcher the fusion dance. We're working with limited space, so we had to shorten the dance. And we also aren't very coordinated, so we changed the fingers touching to fists touching. And as you saw in the bloopers, we barely got that right, so... I'm not sorry. He's not sorry. <laughs> Yesterday was the Nintendo Direct presentation, lots of things were announced, but here are two of the bigger stories. First up, Mario Kart 8 will be getting an update that will add a higher speed mode. That's right, for the first time ever, 150cc will not be the highest, instead, taking the place is 200cc. And to think I was just getting used to 150cc, keys keep speeding me, it's just, it's just really frustrating. The free update comes to Wii U on April 23rd. Secondly, Super Smash Bros. will be getting a free Mewtwo added to both the Wii U and 3DS on April 28th if you are smart enough and registered your game. If you didn't register the game before March 31st, which was two days ago, you will need to pay $3.99 for either console or $4.99 for both. I don't know. Is $3.99 worth it for just one character add-on? What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. Comcast is getting serious with competing with Google Fiber. The cable company just announced that they will be rolling out a 2 gigabit per second internet service. Hot diggity! Atlanta will be the first to get the speedy internet service. No word on pricing just yet, but it will be available to any home within close proximity of Comcast's fiber network and will require an installation of professional grade equipment. The gigabit pro service is said to be symmetrical, meaning you can upload at the same speed you download. Interesting. Comcast is forecasting that the service will be in 18 million homes in the US by the end of the year. For those of you who've forgotten, it's just 12 more sleeps until GTA 5 comes to PC. Can't wait that long? Need something to tide you over? Rockstar has got you covered. Rockstar has just released a new trailer for the game in 60 frames per second. While I don't see the appeal in releasing a 60 frames per second trailer, I am curious to see what sort of hardware the average PC gamer will be using to try and replicate the settings seen in the trailer. Wowie zowie Batman! Ooh, that's nice. This week is NCIX's Easter sale because, well, Easter and rabbits and bunnies and chocolate. The Canadian deal is the Simple Audio Listen Stereo Speakers with Bluetooth for $129. That's 75% off. And the US deal is a Gale 240GB SSD for $94.99. That's 50% off. But both of these deals are limited quantities, so make sure to click here or here and the links in the description for all of this week's sale details. All right, that's it for Netlink Daily. Thank you so much for watching. As always, be sure to like the video and subscribe for more like this from NCIX. And tomorrow is Good Friday for us, so there won't be a Netlink tomorrow, but we will be back bright and early Monday. Well, as bright and early as the video will be uploaded. But anyways, enjoy the weekend, and yes, I will be bringing back my sorry excuse for a beard. Later days. Doors this way.